Hey guys, so today I'm going to be sharing my regrets with you. These are products that I have no intentions of ever purchasing again. So if you guys would like to see my regrets, then please stay tuned. The first product I'm going to show you is something that I tried when I first chopped off my hair. It is the Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioning Cream, whatever it's called, that. <laughs> And sorry, mine looks kind of cruddy. It's just been sitting in the shower. I try so hard to use this, but I'm about to just chuck it because I'm tired of looking at this container. Um, the reason why I don't like this because as a leave-in treatment on my hair, if I put any type of product on top of it, it just left those white, fuzzy, nasty things in my hair, and that would make me have to wash my hair all over again. So I am so tired of this product. I have been using it kind of as a co-wash, and I'm just ready to just throw it in the trash. So this is something that I will never revisit. And another hair product I have here is the Cream of Nature Argan Oil Sulfate Free Shampoo. Now this I have a love-hate relationship with. When it works, it works really well. It says it's supposed to hydrate your hair, it's supposed to detangle, but more times than not, this just felt like it was stripping my hair. I'm not sure what it was. And then sometimes I would say, okay, well let me, maybe my water is too hot because I do like my water quite hot. When I'm uh, washing my hair in the shower, I do turn it to a cooler temperature. So I, I started turning the, the temperature really, really cool and this still just, it didn't work. And it seemed like sometimes I have to use so much of it for it to actually feel like it was moisturizing my hair like it, it should so this is definitely a fail for me and I use as much as I I guess as much as I'm gonna use in this I'm tired of looking at this bottle as well and here's another product that I saw a lot of reviews on it just didn't work for me this is the vo5 moisture milks and a lot of people were using this as a leave-in treatment and as a leave-in and I don't know if they use it as a co-wash as well but I tried it a couple times and this just didn't work out for me it left I'm sorry guys they're doing the uh, landscape landscaping outside but this just left white clumps all in my hair as well and this is something that I totally would not buy again next here I have this Revlon photo ready uh, I don't know if it's called cream blush I'm not sure what it's called and I'm so sorry guys because they're outside doing the landscaping like I said before I know it's kind of distracting but I really wanted to shoot this video but anyway this is what it looks like I didn't like this because first of all it has a really silicone kind of feel to it that's what it looks like and secondly the color was just too sheer for me and I don't like that silky silicone feel I don't I don't do well with silicone products so this was definitely a fail for me uh, let's see next here is something that everybody was raving about of course I went ahead and bought it and disliked it so much it is the BH cosmetics liquid foundation and that's what that looks like I got the shade D2 yeah D2 mocha if you can see that at the bottom anyway this foundation is really thick okay let me tell you the claims first it says it's a uh, lightweight formula fragrance free um, great for daily wear, da, da 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 medium to full coverage. The only thing I will agree is that it is medium to full coverage. This is definitely not fragrance free. It does have some kind of perfumey smell to it. And this foundation, from the first time I tried it, broke my skin out so bad. Like, if you can see these marks underneath my chin, like when I blended my foundation down, this is what caused those hyperpigmentation marks underneath there. So I definitely hate this foundation and I hate when foundations say this one says shake well before use this formula is so thick that if you do kind of try to shake it it's not really shaking the product together so I don't know why they put that on the label because that is doesn't make any sense to me <laughs> next here I have a couple of mascaras this one was sent to me not sent to me this one I won in a Milani giveaway on Twitter and this is the Milani total lash cover that's what that looks like now when I first <laughs> okay this says it has a three zone brush so I first took it out and I'm like okay maybe mine is just like a dud because it has this long plastic thing at the end that kept on poking my eyes and I just couldn't really get with this brush so this was a total fail I'm so glad that I didn't actually pay for it but if you can see you see that plastic thing right there I don't know what the purpose is of that but it just seemed to get in my way every time I tried to uh, put the mascara on and next here is one that I found on Clarence at Ulta. This is the Defina Lash Volume Mascara by Maybelline, and it's uh, the waterproof version. I bought this because it was super, super cheap. It might have been like around $2 or something, but I just found that this formula was just way too wet, and I don't even know if you can still see it. It still is very wet, and I've had this for months. Um, it's still very wet. It leaves my lashes kind of clumped together, and I just absolutely hated it. Okay, so here's another thing. <laughs> That's why I have to stop. 
I have to stop watching some of these videos. These Nana Coco lip glosses. Everyone was talking about these. I couldn't find them. I was on the hunt everywhere. Finally found them in a beauty supply store and I absolutely hated them. These are just way too thick for me. Um, I just, I, I, I can't do the thick sticky lip gloss and that's exactly what this is. Just really tacky and Ugh, I just hated it. So for all you guys that like these, thumbs ups to you. But I guess I need to stick to something that's more lightweight, easy to wear on the lips. Because this is definitely not it for me. Next here is another lip product. This is the Carmex Lip Conditioner. And that's what it looks like. And I am a Carmex girl. I, I swear by that. I have Carmex in my purse, in my, um, in my car. I have it all over the house. So when I saw the lip conditioner, I was like, okay, maybe this is something that's going to, you know, boost my lips even more. This has a slightly different texture. As you can see, it comes out as a cream, if you can see that. But this didn't really hydrate my lips. It definitely didn't hydrate my lips as well as the original version. I can't remember how much this cost, but I know it was a little bit more expensive than the regular one. But this is something that I definitely will not go back to. Next here, where is it? Okay, right here is the CVS Eye Makeup Remover. I do not like this. This didn't take off anything. <laughs> it leaked all over the place and it just didn't work well for me. I had a hard time removing a lot of my eye makeup and I don't even wear, I don't really wear waterproof mascaras or things that will be too, too hard to take off, but this just did not cut it. I will not repurchase this. And next here is another remover product. This is the Equate Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelette. That's what they look like. And these just have a very strong fragrance to them. I think I'm I think my skin is just sensitive to fragrance. So, they're just too fragrant. They didn't really remove the makeup that well. So, this is definitely something that I do not see myself getting again. And let me see if there's anything finally. Oh no, I have two more things. This right here. This is the Suave 24-hour uh powder deodorant. I mean, excuse me, powder scented deodorant. This is what that looks like. I tried to make the switch to spray on deodorants because sometimes when I go to the gym, like a regular deodorant will kind of ball up under my arm. So I wanted to try something new. But however, I don't like this. Reason being is because that powder scent is just kind of overpowering and it kind of makes you cough a little bit. It's kind of like, I don't really know how to explain it, but let's see. It's like an overly powder smell that makes you want to cough. So I don't like that. Um, I don't think there was anything wrong with the deodorant itself, but that just didn't work for me. And then I bought another one of these uh, powder scented because that's usually the, the scent of deodorant I get. And I don't remember. It might be secret. And that one has that same type of thing. So I think it's just the scent that I got. So I'll try something else in a different scent and see if that works out. But definitely not this powder scent. It's just too overpowering for me. And finally here, this is something I picked up a long time ago. This is the Dream Matte Mousse by Maybelline. I didn't like this. It was almost dropped it. This is what it looks like inside. And it just made my skin look ashy. Um, I don't know. I just wasn't a fan of this. I tried it a few times. And I don't know. It just, it just wasn't working. This is what it looks like right there at the top. But yeah. I don't know. I just couldn't get with it. It's kind of heavy and just wasn't for me so this is a product that gets a thumbs down in my book so anyway guys i hope you have enjoyed this video and i will see you very soon bye